Guys, in this video, I have to show you something so cool that I just figured out together here with my Mac, MacBook Pro and my iPad. By the way, this is the setup that I used just for recording the last Q&A video. When you go here to the display settings, and then here under display settings, you go to advanced. By default, there's an option and it says, allow your pointer and keyboard to move between any nearby Mac or iPad. Push through the edge of a display to connect a nearby Mac or iPad. So I haven't set up anything. The only thing I had to do is I'm on the same Wi-Fi. So if I now look here at my pointer, I can now come in here, show you this. And I'm controlling with this mouse that was connected here via Wi-Fi my iPad. But it's even better. I can now come in here. Let's say I can grab a file and I don't have to do airdrop. I can just use this file and drag and drop this here to my files app. And boom, I have the file here. Same with this one from my iPad over to my Mac. And this also works. I show you this in the photos app. I can open photos and let's say, for example, here, this photo I can grab bring it over here and I can drag and drop a photo in here. And the same works there. If I have a photo here, let's say this one, I can drag and drop this in here and the photo will be there. This is amazing. It's faster than AirDrop because I don't have to select AirDrop. I'm immediately connected. It even recognizes which position. So for example, if I position it here, it will recognize left and right. This is just amazing. Yeah, I hope you liked this video too. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye, I'm Daniel.